A little historical perspective. The first local anesthetic was, in fact, cocaine. It was introduced by Carl Kohler at the University of Vienna in September of 1884. A contemporary of Dr. Kohler was Dr. Sigmund Freud, who encouraged Carl Kohler to look at cocaine as a possible local anesthetic. Carl Kohler was doing eye surgeries, and in fact, he tested his new cocaine local anesthetic eye drops on frogs. William Holstead was the first dentist to use cocaine as a local anesthetic. This was in November of 1884. Uh, they performed infraorbital and inferior alveolar blocks on him, and it took him about two years to overcome his resulting cocaine addiction. Due to cocaine's unfavorable therapeutic index, the search was on for a less toxic compound. Uh, this is where procaine or novocaine came from. Um, it caused a lot of allergic reactions, and some 40 years later, we came up with lidocaine, which was a landmark discovery in dentistry. It had less allergenicity, more potency, and a more rapid onset when compared to novocaine. A little later, 2000, articaine was granted FDA approval for the United States, and in 2008, Oriverse or Fentolamine was approved. Uh, that is the local anesthetic reversal agent. It's not really a local anesthetic reversal agent. It is a vasoconstrictor reversal agent. So solutions containing a vasoconstrictor, Oriverse works with. Uh, ones that are plain, like Prilocaine, uh, Sitnest, or Carbocaine, Mopivacaine, uh, Oriverse will have no effect on. Here you see the approximate year of initial clinical use of dental local anesthetics. Cocaine, like we mentioned, in 1884. 